to God be the glory, great things he has done. I want to appreciate God for the newness of a new day. And I, my prayer is that as we have seen the beginning of this day, we we'll also see the end in joy in Jesus' name. My name is Akikomi Thomas. I pastor one of the parishes of the Redeemed Christian Church of God called Living Bread, Newcastle. And we'll be looking at the open heavens of the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Yea Deboye. And our topic for consideration this morning is His presence a blessing. Our Bible passage is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 6, from verse 6 to 11. And when they came to Nacon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the hack of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error. And there he died by the hack of God. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah. And he called the name of the place Paris Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How shall the hack of the Lord come to me? So David would not remove the hack of the Lord unto him into the city of David. But David carried it aside into the house of Obedidom, the Gittite. And the hack of the Lord continued in the house of Obedidom, the Gittite, three months, and the Lord blessed Obedidom and all his household. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 33, verse 6. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our reflections. The key message from our open heavens daily guide today is that when the presence of the Lord is with us, his presence are assured. From a Bible passage, which we read a moment ago, the ark of the Lord, which signified the presence of the Lord, was in transit from where it was kept to the city of David. The oxen that was carrying it shook it, and it appeared that it was about to fall. Uzzah, a rather zealous young man, wanted to prevent that from happening, and he put forth his hand to support it, and he died instantly. As a result, the king who had demanded that the ark be brought to the city of David made a U-turn, and it was dumped in the house of Obedidom, the Gittite. Only God knows why they felt he was the next person to die by choosing to put the ark in his house. For the three months that the ark remained in his house, the Bible says that the Lord blessed Obedidom together with his household. The underlining message here is that the ark of the Lord which symbolizes the presence of the Lord, can attract blessings to our lives. But we need to be holy, to be able to keep and profit from the presence of the Lord. Asking for the presence of the Lord, or approaching the presence of the Lord without sanctifying ourselves, is a very dangerous thing to do. We cannot afford to take the presence of the Lord for granted. When the presence of the Lord is with us, as we have maintained earlier, Wherever we might, and whatever might have been our status, we will enjoy unmerited favor. Joseph was favored in the house of Potiphar, as he was favored in the prison. God took him to a level he never expected, because he kept the presence of God with him everywhere he went. You need the presence of God more than ever before. And the only way we can secure and guarantee the presence of God is when we live in holiness, and in righteousness, when we fear God, when we walk in the will of God, when we obey Him, when we flee from every appearance of evil, when the fear of God is guiding us, it is then His presence will be guaranteed. Our prayer point today is this, the blessing that comes with God's presence is what the price of consecration required to attract it and keep it. My prayer for you is that you will live a consecrated life, a holy life, and a sanctified life, that the root of sin will be uprooted from your life and my life, and His presence will be our portion, and of course, the blessing of God will be attracted into our lives. The Lord bless you. Have a glorious day, and I believe that today you will testify to the glory of God. Thank you, and God bless you. See you again. Bye for now.